Kujangpu to all the ICT teachers. Today I will be sharing class 8 sample question for ICT board examination. For information, the board examination for ICT in class 8 will happen from 2023 academic year. Going into the, the sample question detail, the board examination will only be for the theory part. The practical part will be done by the teachers within their respective schools. The theory paper will be out of 80 marks and uh, the duration for the paper will be for two hours. The additional time of 15 minutes will be given to teach students to read the question. So later on, out of 80 marks, the marks will be converted to 60% and internal marks will be taken out of 40%, so total of 100%. So coming to the paper, all the questions within the theory paper are compulsory for the students to complete. And uh, in section A will be out of 30 marks. Within the section A, there will be multiple choice questions. There will be completion questions, which we usually call as a fill in the blanks. There will be true or false items. In the section B, which is out of 50 marks, there are short response question and the extended response question. So coming to the distribution of the marks, as well as uh, the content to be covered in the theory paper, as you can see on the screen, the strand A there are two competencies in the curriculum framework. Strand B, there are another two com competencies in the curriculum framework. And for strand C, there is one competency. And for strand D, there is another competency. And the marks distributed are for strand A is uh, 12 marks, strand B is 12 marks, strand C is 6 marks, and for strand D is 50 marks. As you can see, the strand D, which is more on the coding, has the higher weightage compared to strand A, B, and C. Let us now look at the sample paper which has been shared to all the schools across the country. If you still haven't uh, received this paper, you can access this paper from our website. So this, the front page is mo mostly to do with the markers. Uh, uh, for the students, they will have to put their index number, the student name and the school. Other than that, the rest of the thing are for the markers. So looking at the overall uh, the marking criteria, you can see here that section A, there are three questions. The first question is on the multiple choice question. The second question is for the, the true or false question. And the third question is for the completion items. Coming for the section B, uh, the question number four is for the short response question, while question number five till 10 is for the extended response question. Before students actually start the paper, there is an instruction on what to be for, what to be done while attempting this question. So there are around uh, nine instructions. Uh, then uh, under section E, which is 30 marks, you can see the first one, question number one is the MCQ, where children will have to at, uh, circle the most uh, appropriate answer to the question. So let me let us look at uh, question number subdivision one under question number one you can see that uh, the first this question is related to the the powerpoint presentation the second one is on the code monkey uh, coding and third one is on blogging fourth one is again on coding strand d uh, fifth one is uh, you can see this is uh, related to the the safety and ethics strand c digital footprint you can see there's a digital footprint here question number six you can see this is again uh, to do with the online and uh, social media which is uh, related to strand c then question number seven is on the g2c that is the government to citizenship initiative which is on strand b communication and collaboration question number eight is on the code monkey uh, this is from the uh, banana tails um, which is uh, assigned for grade eight seven and eight Question number nine is on the video production. You can see that is for the video. And question number 10, final one is on the coding. So this is uh, the part one, question number one of section E. So question number two is the true or false. And uh, question number three, you can see here, is the completion question that is filling in the blanks. Then section B, as you can see, is the short response question. So you can see children will have to write the answers here. If you look at question number four A, you can see it is related. Uh, you have to. It is related to the the PowerPoint presentation, and here it's talking about the design principles uh, that need to be followed to have a good uh, PowerPoint presentation. Similarly, uh, if you look at the subdivision question number uh, B subdivision b of question number four you will notice that uh, it is to do with you can see the 
uh, students will have to write about her blogging the important how can bloggers address the issues related to the rise of social media in Bhutan state two points so you can see this is with related to blogging the actual blogging will be done in the classroom as a part of the digital artifact whereas here is the theory part then um, this is for sub question number as you can see this is for question number four section b the short response question mm -hmm. and then uh, here you will also notice that there are uh, some questions from the coding chatbot because for class eight they have to finish uh, the banana tails and the coding chatbot as for the code monkey courses mm, you can see here that uh, children will also have to uh, look at the code and then they will have to write the meaning so for example in this case what is the difference between send message function and the read message function so uh, they have to relate in, in terms of the the Python coding where there's a print statement uh, so you can see here sent message is like a print statement read message is uh, like a input uh, statement then uh, another coding chatbot uh, question is here this is with relate uh, re this is related to variables and even the the use of the operators why operators are used and then the output that will be generated once this is uh, this code has been executed then uh, you'll also notice that that this is with related to uh, with regards to the the video editing uh, uh, here is a rule of third which children will have to look at it while designing it's related to photography as well as uh, video making mm. so this is a debugging question so a code is given here so code is given here uh, this they have to learn while they are uh, learning code monkey like uh, banana tails and coding chat but particularly in terms of uh, the control statements that they learn in in banana tails and coding chatbot you can see here children will have to rewrite this code correctly here and uh, there is a bug this is a debugging question then this is a direct screen capture that is taken from the code monkey one of the challenges in the banana tails so the codes are given and the function of the codes are given now they have to understand the function and they will have to write the uh, write the solution in order to solve this for the banana to reach to the baby uh, monkey and uh, this is uh, another uh, question related to coding and uh, the output is given somehow uh, they have to arrange this now now this is with regards to again rearranging this uh, uh, codes and then they have to get the output so you can see there are five codes given here they need not have to write any new codes but they have to rearrange this code and then get the output 25 Mm, similar to that one there's another interesting question here again this is with regards to the coding and uh, this is uh, this is trying to give a concept of for loop um, so you can see here when the when you have the sum of 10 and there's a statement for statement like for n in the range of 5 sum is equal to sum plus n so what is saying is when the sum n value is 0 so condition is 0 is less than 5 right so it is true so value of the sum would be so 10 so 10 plus 0 so you can see here so sum would be 10 plus n it will be 0 similarly they have to fill up this uh, empty boxes and then uh, using the similar logic so this from this they will understand how for loop they have to demonstrate how uh, the for loop is executed in the program and uh, this is another one taken from the code monkey and uh, the banana tails uh, part 2 uh, another interesting thing I would like to highlight here is question number eight in the extended question. So here uh, the flow chart is given. So even the questions is given. So based on the flow chart, they will have to now they have to write a program. So here, if you look at the flow chart, uh, you will see that uh, it's more to do with get first getting the nationality, whether it's a Bhutanese or not. So there is a one control uh, control statement here, and then if it is a yes, then get the age. If the age is uh, more than or equal to eighteen, then if it is yes, then the person or the person is eligible to vote. If no means they are not eligible to vote. So for that, uh, they'll have to write a program here. So write a program based on the flow chart, above flow chart, you may use variables, if else condition, print and input function in the program. So this is something they will have to create based on this flow chart. And uh, 
here uh, in the flow chart which are the decision making blocks explain wh why you consider them as a decision making blocks so you, that's uh, you can see this uh, the two triangles no not the triangles the two parallelograms uh, given here are the decision making blocks so children will have to explain on this decision making blocks mm, so this is again another one taken from the goat monkey and uh, goat monkey challenges mm, the final one is also from the goat monkey challenges so as you can see here the most questions are taken from the uh, from the coding so as discussed earlier the marks for the coding is uh, more compared to the literacy part like strand a b and c so for the coding component uh, there are 50 marks i hope uh, with this uh, short explanation uh, you have a better understanding about what type of question will come for the board examination in class 8 for ICT subject. Thank you for watching and uh, listening to this short video.